Hey guys, myself Rakesh and today we are going to learn one more interesting topic around GitHub. Okay, that is known as show changes. So before we start this topic, I would like to give you a bit of scenario. Let's say yesterday you have worked on main.xml file. So on my screen, so this is the main.xml file that you have been asked to work on this main.xml file. So you have completed, you have worked for three to four hours or let's say five to six hours and you have completed your job and you have committed and pushed it to the github.com. And post review, there are a couple of suggestions being made. Your lead said, hey, uh, you know, do not use this activity, remove this activity, instead use a different activity, Changes the pro change all the properties of this activity. So there were 30 to 40 different uh, changes has been uh, asked you. So you have a headache. So lot many changes you have to do. So you have made a note. So I have to do all these changes tomorrow. Okay, fine. So today you are logging in. So what you do you do? Today you have turned on your laptop. The first thing you will do, you will go to your documents folder. Um, this is the place where you generally find your local repository, UI path, and you will open the main.xml file. Okay, you have opened the main.xml file. So while your lead was trying to say something, he has made few changes, okay, and he has updated. So, uh, or let's say there is another person who is working along with you on the, on the main.xml file. He also had made few changes. Uh, post the review call was done so what you want you have to ensure today before you start working the version that you are using has the latest things inside it so for that what i will do the first thing i will do i'll right click on it and then hit on pull so what what this pull will do this will ensure whatever the exact copy there in the github.com that comes to my local system so that i know this is the copy where i should work fine so this is done now the next thing uh, you have been asked to make a lot of changes now for a demo purpose we'll take very simple simple activities let's say um, you have been asked to um, you know uh, this log message activity they asked not to use this so i'm going to delete this for example so i'm going to save it so what i have done right now i have deleted one activity or deleted few activities from my sequence now this is one thing okay first thing i have done is deleted so let me show you the moment I make any changes and hit on save. If I right click on this and this option will come known as show changes. Okay. Look at this. The moment you hit on show changes, what you have done, you have deleted one activity. So the left side panel is the server copy, how it was there in the github.com. Okay. So here it clearly tells you, hey, you have deleted one activity. So here this activity uh, the if you find a pink color that means this activity has been deleted okay let's say i'm going to add an activity so let me add an activity let's say i'm going to add a delay activity let's say. okay i have added a delay activity and i'm going to give it a, a duration let's say 2000 or 2 milliseconds 2 seconds okay so um let's do it this way zero 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 two fine let's say i have made some changes to the uh, i have added a new activity called delay let me save it okay now this is very interesting the moment i right click and hit on show changes so this is give you this will give you an understanding i have been asked to make 30 changes have i made all the 30 changes so here you can review it so one thing i have been asked to delete a activity so i have done that then i have asked to add a delay uh, activity i have done that okay now <clears throat> let's say this green color green color means you have added an activity pink color means you have deleted an activity so you can compare it it was here it is not here that means you have deleted this was not here this has been added to the local copy that means it's added so remember latest means this this is coming from your github.com right the server copy this is the local copy the server copy add a activity you have removed it pink color there was no activity called delay it has been added green color so these two colors are very simple okay let's say i will make some changes okay so let's um, let's make some changes here um for the message box okay i'll make some changes let's say i'll give it a you know, auto close after two two seconds and then um i am simply making some changes okay then let's say i need a okay or cancel button okay or i'll give a 
five second before that user has an option to uh, do a okay and cancel or yes no cancel whatever it is okay i'm just making some changes now let me save it so what i have done i have made some changes to the property this is also indicated okay so how it is being done if you right click and hit on show changes right what happened um, you can call this as a yellow color or orange color i don't know but this this color that you see for the message box right so this activity is there in both the places but again when you highlight this activity it says automatically close after was zero and then you have modified modified means this yellow color or the orange color light uh, orange color will come pink color means deleted green means added remember these three points now um, here there is a on the property button ok cancel has been added so that is a green color indication here so this is quite easy right if i have to have some 30 40 changes which i have to made if i come to this page i can easily verify okay this activities i have deleted this activities i have added this properties i have made changes to right so all these things this yellow color are nothing but modified uh, properties so all these things i have done right let's say you have not given a name uh, to the activity properly you have left the default activity so you are making a change instead of a message box i will say um, a notification to use or something like that okay all the small small mistakes generally people will make so here if i do all this this gives me a easy option to review if i have done all the changes or not okay message box uh, message uh, modified properties so all the all this all the small small things can be easily um, you know you can so that right all these things can be easily seen so what happened to that our name uh, notification to user display name okay did not change so here let me change uh, notification to user okay so let me save it and go to the project and so change it. so getting it so this this options will become very easy so you can see a message box then i have made changes to notification to user this has been captured display name has been changed getting it <coughs> so these are the various different options uh, so this show changes becomes very very important when you are working with a uh, when you are collaborating with multiple uh, members um, and then you are working on a copy or two people are working on the same sequence it is easy uh, so whatever changes are happening uh, we can start fresh uh, from tomorrow and whatever the changes has been recommended to us using the show changes history we can review it so how it helps it helps you to review it helps you to check if you have modified everything it helps you to check whether have you deleted everything right it gives you that review option quite a easy way what was there and what is now right you can do a comparison and you can solve what has been asked you all right so thank you for watching this guys so please do subscribe in case you have not already subscribed to our channel we have ample of videos on uipath just by going through our playlist you will be an expert um, um, on uipath and you will be able to learn a lot of concepts around uipath so please do subscribe to our channel in case you have not done it already and please do ask your friends who are learning uipath to get onto our channel and start learning from the playlist and the videos that we have created thank you guys we are going to meet in the next video Bye bye